Murders in the 34 cities studied show a 30% rise, and that includes Dallas. Jack Heidberger has more on the connection between crime and COVID-19. If you have a violent life, it would just do nothing but beget more violence. If anyone knows firsthand how violence can forever change a life, it's Jalen Miller. Being shot five times and having my little nephew uh, shot in the head and once in the leg as well. The 2020 murder of his nephew remains unsolved and yet now is being viewed in a larger context. Dallas, like many other cities across America, saw a sharp rise in violent crime that researchers are still trying to understand. We saw a 30% rise in homicide rates in the 34 cities for which we could get data. Richard Rosenfeld authored a new study released this month that found while property crime and drug offenses have fallen during the pandemic, violent crime has almost universally risen. The stress and strain associated with the pandemic, not to mention the economic consequences of the pandemic, really should not be discounted as uh, part, you know, part of an explanation for why we saw increases. The report's authors believe a variety of factors, including police forces impacted by COVID-19 and social unrest surrounding policing have all contributed. And criminologists here in North Texas believe the damage is clear to see. When you add poverty, unemployment, uh, the stressors related to COVID, and on top of that, people that are living with one another in close proximity of each other without the benefit of going to work, uh, it is, in fact, a perfect storm. And it's a storm that has yet to clear, leaving behind innocent victims who now hope others will consider what comes of violence. Stop. Think about what you're doing. Think about how you can affect somebody's lives just like mine. Jack Heiberger, NBC5.